I don't usually make videos here on the channel that talk about ways to save battery life because most of the ones you see on YouTube are just fake. There are very few ways that you can reduce battery usage on Android other than downclocking the CPU or GPU, getting better cellular service reception, and lowering the brightness of your screen. But today I wanted to highlight something that has been known to eat away at the battery since it was introduced. You may or may not be familiar with the digital well-being application for Android, but it was launched to give you tools for monitoring and limiting how you use the device. You can check to see if you have the digital well-being application installed by looking through your application drawer for an application labeled digital well-being or by finding it in the settings application like I just showed you here. Now this app can help to give people gentle reminders to not excessively use their smartphone or tablet so much throughout the day. Focus mode can be a great way to limit the notifications on your device when you need your attention spent on something else. And automating certain tasks with bedtime mode can be a very convenient way to not blind yourself with the phone at night. But not everyone wants to use these features and there isn't a straightforward way to disable or uninstall the digital well-being application on some devices. But I can show you how to revoke the permission that the application uses so that you can reduce the amount of battery spent on just letting the service run in the background. To begin, we need to dive into the settings application and then we're going to look for the apps option. From here, we're going to look for the special app access feature down here at the bottom. And this will give you a list of special application permissions that aren't standard like the notification permission or the location access permission. So from here, we're going to scroll down a bit and look for the usage access permission in the list. And then we're going to find the digital well-being application from here. And then disable this toggle here to revoke its usage access. This will make the digital well-being application technically useless since it will not be able to monitor what you're doing on the smartphone or the tablet. But again, if you don't use this feature anyway, then you're better off stopping it from having that type of access to your smartphone or tablet in the first place. If you would rather uninstall this pre-installed system application from your device, then I'll include a link in the video description below showing you how to remove this type of bloatware with a simple ADB command. All you would need to do is find the package name for the application and then plug that package name into the ADB command to uninstall it from the default user on Android. I've also seen some people recommend removing the usage access permission from the device health services application as well. This application is in charge of finding out which apps are using up the battery life on your phone or tablet. So if you use the battery page within the settings application, then you'll want to keep this permission intact. 
However, if you never use that, then again, it's better to revoke this permission so that your battery isn't being used on a service that you simply don't need. I hope these tips are helpful to some of you out there. They won't make your Android smartphone or tablet last for multiple days between charges, but they can help you to eke out a bit more power from your battery.